Welcome to another session from LearnHowToReason.com. My name is Matt, and we're going to talk about the expander gate section in the SSL mixer that, uh, or the virtual SSL mixer that comes in Reason. And have you ever thought about a, 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 a gate or an expander as an automated level controller? Because essentially, that's what they are. Take a look at this. Visualize it this way. The gate is off and at a certain dB set it within the, the gate, it will open up, allowing sound through. And then it turns off, just like a level. Turn the level down, let it through, turn it off. That's what a, a gate does, an expander. Uh, it's kind of neat to visualize it that way. It might help you understand it if you're having a hard time uh, understanding it. So the gate here has, you know, you can turn it on right here, pretty simple. And then you have, an, you can turn on the expansion uh, mode, which we'll go over here in a second. Next, you have your range knob. And the range is how open the gate is, or it applies gain reduction. But you can think about it as how open the gate is. Then you have your threshold, which um, controls when the gate will open. And, you know, one thing, I have always thought about gates as a door. You know, when will the door open? How open is the door? I, I visualize it that way. It helps me out. Okay, next we have the release. That is how fast the, the gate will close. You know, will it close gradually or super fast? And then your hold is when the gate is at its open point, how long does it stay open at that point? So before it starts to shut and you can set it from, it, it just shuts immediately. You can set it up to as far as uh, 4,000 milliseconds. And then right below that is your, your uh, fast button for fast attack. And the gate is its its attack is pretty it's it's automated. You have two choices. You leave it just like like uh, the fast attack off, and you're going to have an attack which is about 1.5 milliseconds of attack per 40 dB. And if you turn on the fast attack option, it's going to be 100 milliseconds per 40 dB. It's kind of hard to remember all that stuff. The way I do it is this. I use fast attack when I run into dynamic instruments, you know, drums, for instance, that just have a super fast attack. You know, you hit that snare and it's just, it's on you immediately. That might be a, a good time to use it. Using it when you're dealing with sounds that have extremely fast attack. Okay, so let's get in and use this gate and see how these LEDs work and how each one of these, uh, these uh, the range, threshold, release, and hold work. And you'll see, you know, you can see the color here. The left side here is for the LEDs for the gate. The right side is for the compressor. And we'll do a, a, a video on the compressor next. And right here is the key. Uh, button which turns on side chaining and we'll do a, a, a separate video for that so let's turn on the gate and oh what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna work on this track right here it's a snare um, it's a it's a microphone on the bottom of a, of a snare and it's picking up the kick and I want to get rid of the kick it's a perfect you know this is this is where you use a gate you can use a gate in other situations and we'll go over those so let's listen to this. Let's give it a little uh, gain to hear it better. Okay, so you can hear the, the kick coming through. So I'm just going to turn on the gate. And let's stop this for a second. Just so you understand how these LEDs work. 
so I mean to help you understand how they're relaying the in, the the information of the gate, you know, the range, the threshold, the release and hold. You'll see that when you turn it on, it's lit all the way to the top. What that means is the gate is closed. It, it's the representation that the gate is 100% closed. Now, let's just for instance here, let's turn on the compressor. The lights don't come on because the, the compressor works opposite. It will start lighting up when it starts um, compressing the signal. And the LEDs will show you how much it's compressing that signal. So with no sound coming on, going through we have you know the LEDs are totally lit so let's turn it on and watch watch the gate open so when the LEDs go down the gate is opening and you'll see the gate is totally opening when you hear the snare okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dial in the threshold I'm going to set where I want the gate to open or close. Yeah, that's pretty good. See, the, the, the kick is pretty much dialed out. You can barely hear it. Okay, so now we're going to go to the range. And this is how open the gate is, you know. And we're going to apply uh, gain reduction. So if, the, if, if we're applying no gain reduction or the door is wide open, listen to the sound. There's no gating at all. Look at the LEDs. There's no gating. So we're going to dial in the gain reduction or start shutting the gate or door, if you will. So that's pretty good. Now, if I go all the way, yeah, that sounds pretty good. But then what happens is you, you, you know, you'll start taking away from the whole snare hit. Okay. So next what we're going to do is we'll see how fast the release is. That is a release of, you know, 100 milliseconds it's 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 not allowing the gate to the sound to get all the way through and look at the leds how slow they they close real real slow release real fast release. see the leds so we'll get it about right there and then we can go to our hold and if we just have that gate stay open a little bit longer, we'll get more of the whole snare and all of its transients. Hear them? Hear the difference? Oops. Right about there is nice. Kind of pumping a bit. So we can make the, the release faster. And I might bring this down a bit. Yeah. So there we've just taken the kick out and it's it's really that simple. We put our our, put our level back and we pretty much have the kick out of the the snare the bottom snare mic and we use the gate it's really that simple so let's look at um, let's look at what, how we use the expander let's listen to this vocal and we're gonna hear a bunch of background noise and let's check it out we are doing a test of the expander on the mixer in Reason. Okay, so we have a bunch of background noise and we have a vocal here and we want to cut that noise out. This is a great time to use the expander mode 
in the gate section on the mixer. But let me go over the differences between um, an expander and a gate so we, we have a good understanding of the two. A gate reacts to the signal by its predetermined range amount, lowering the signal by a range value once crossing the threshold. The expander reacts to the signal by its ratio amount, lowering the signal by the ratio value once crossing the threshold. A gate is a static gain control, while an expander is a variable gain control. So what do expanders and gates do? They isolate a sound and they remove a sound. A gate is a static gain control. An expander is a variable gain control. A gate is more precise and less forgiving. An expander is less precise and more forgiving. Yeah, pretty easy to understand, I hope. <laughs> but let me show you what I'm talking about. <clears throat> okay, so I've doubled up this track and let's listen to this and um, double this track up and reason. we are and we'll just add that gain right there. Okay, so we'll, we'll start with the expander and let's turn on the expander and we'll dial it in and uh, see how we can adjust the background noise out of this vocal. We're doing a test of the expander on the mixer in Reason. We are doing a test of the expander on the mixer in Reason. We are doing a test of the expander on okay the so i've just set up uh, the expander to take out the background noise and it sounds nice and natural it's not affecting the vocal you know listen to it mixer in reason we are doing a test of the expander so it sounds natural and, you know, I might be able to tweak it just a smidge more, but it's just for demonstration purposes here. So now let's mute this channel and solo this channel and we'll dial this in, same vocal and everything, but we're just going to use the, the gate and I want to show, so I can show you the difference on the mixer in Reason. We are doing a test of the expander on the in, mixer in Reason. You'll see that the, the as I'm doing this, it's more of a, it, it's a static control here. And it, it's really, it's much more difficult to dial it in. And uh, so let's just keep trying here. We are doing a test of the expander on the mixer in Reason. We are doing a test of... One thing you'll notice is that the gate is either on or off. It's on or off. And that's the huge difference between having the static um, control and a variable control. We are doing a test of the expander on the mixer. It's, it's, it's a lot harsher, the sound. And, you know, it, it's subtle, but the expander makes it much easier to, to get the background noise out and keep the, the vocal sounding, you know, natural. Whereas the gate on this particular vocal, it, you, can, you can get the background noise out, but you get, it's, 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 it's more of an on-off, you know, popping in the sound. It's, it's, it just doesn't sound natural. And that's the best uh, way I could show you the difference between the expander 
and the gate. And it's like they, you know, it says, you know, what they are, they, you know, one's less forgiving and one's uh, more precise. So you pick and choose when you want to use your gate or an expander, depending on your needs. You know, here is a vocal. It, it, you know, you try it. Hey, it works great. It's easier. Sounds more natural. You get uh, on some dynamic uh, instruments like uh, a kick, a snare. Yeah, you're going to want to use the gate because it's more precise. So that's uh, the gate expander in a nutshell on the SSL mixer in Reason. And use it. And you'll find out that you can control your sounds. You can hone in on sounds. And it's going to be an awesome tool. I hope this video was helpful to you. And there'll be many more videos to come every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. There's videos. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. You take care.